2024 brings many new incredible games which you can get really excited about. Some of them already dropping in March, having incredible graphics and some free to play. One that sticks out is a new multiplayer game with incredible graphics called Predecessor, which previously had been in paid early access. In this video we'll talk everything important about this upcoming game. Watch till the end to learn when it is coming to consoles and gets free to play. Predecessor is a next-gen action-based strategy game which puts you in a team of five players against an enemy team of five. You fight over map control and objectives which grant you bonuses while leveling up your hero by executing enemies and monsters on the map and equipping more powerful gear as the game progresses to push back the enemy territory and destroy the structures and ultimately their base to win the game. The official term for this game genre is MOBA which stands for Multiplayer Online Battle Arena. The most popular known games of this kind are League of Legends, Dota 2 and Smite, those being old, established and quite hard for new players to learn with their overwhelming hundreds of playable characters, each unique and with different abilities, Predecessor makes it easy to join the game with their current 34 playable heroes. At the start of every game you can choose to play one of these heroes. Our heroes serve a specific purpose for the team, which makes it very fun to experiment with different team compositions to counter your enemies. For example, there are tanks with lots of health, who build the team's frontline, support to heal the team and provide further utility and major damage dealers who themselves can have very few health which is why teamwork is key in this game. As we haven't seen any great new attempts of games trying to advance the genre or mixing it up in many years, this is where Predecessor comes in and stands out as the best upcoming mobile game we've seen in probably the last decade. What Predecessor does different is that it is played from the third person perspective instead of the traditional top down view, has incredible next gen graphics and its maps have verticality which offer even more potential for strategic and epic place, which also switches things up compared to traditional mobile layouts where the maps mostly are flat. For example, you can get up to a ledge to give yourself an advantage against enemies below. But be warned, many advantages also come with disadvantages in this game, like using a teleport to get away from enemies, which enemies then could use too to close gaps. So you have to decide carefully, but quick, which routes you will go and place to make. Now you might be wondering, this looks all very familiar to me. Well, that's because Predecessor is based on an older game called Paragon by Epic games, which also tried to reinvent the MOBA genre with their attempt of the game, which had its majority of players on the PS4 from 2016 to 2018. However, due to uncertain plans for the game's future and developing, and the abysmal success of their other game, Fortnite, the company behind it decided to drop the game and focus on Fortnite instead. But as a loving act to their once passion project, they gave all assets of Paragon for free, so anyone who wanted could recreate it. That's what Armada Studios did, a small indie game developed company created to bring back the dream of Paragon. They have seen the potential and much needed variety for this game genre and brought it back to life, now called Predecessor. And boy, did they improve it. The game runs way better now, everything is smoothing out and interacts way more seamlessly than in Paragon and they also have multiple game modes coming. It's also way more balanced than Paragon with its heroes and abilities so it gets way less exploited. Some of these 34 heroes already are original by the team and they fit in seamlessly. They also work on new original skins which already look amazing. Overall you could say that with Predecessor they created the version of Paragon. It always should have been and they are still working on it. The team doesn't still want to call the game published as it is still in paid early access and tweaks need to be made, but it already being in a greater state than Paragon does only make us hopeful and excited for the future of this game. Updates come rather slow due to the smaller size of the company, but the successful latest beta tests on PlayStation made them confident to finally open their open beta for all players on PC. PlayStation and Xbox, making it free to play by introducing crossplay and simultaneous updates already this month on March 28th. If that's something you're interested or excited about, check the game's website linked in the video description. If you want to see more about the latest state of the game and the upcoming updates, check out this video. Thank you for watching and have a beautiful day.